Hello to everybody. I'm Rolf, Delta Lima 7 Victor Echo Echo, the team leader of HU1DL. I was born in 1950 and was first licensed in the age of 17 in the former GDR. My main interests are DXing and collecting for DXCC on ore bands from 160 to 2 meters. And now my new pleasure is to go on the expeditions with friends. Same procedure every year. At first we have to decide where do we go. See our important requirements on this page. If we found an interesting target, next things to do to find a good QDH and inexpensive flights. I started to look for hotels in El Salvador, which would give us the permission for a ham radio operation and which have enough place for antennas too. But no luck, so I was looking on Airbnb pages. Finally, I found an excellent QDH for us, right on the Pacific coast. A well-tended garden, including a swimming pool and palm trees, sounds good. It has self-catering, but more important, we are enough place, enough power for our equipment and internet access. A housekeeper with family is living on the property, but speaks only Spanish. El Salvador is a country in Central America with just over 6 million inhabitants. The currency is the US dollar and the language is Spanish. Several Yankee sugar hams helped us with licensing and transportation and we became good friends. Our team members live all over Germany. They all have the X experience and like the expeditioning. We prefer multi OP expeditions with a solid technical equipment and the X tested antennas. Our annual DX expedition teams consist of 6 to 15 operators. We got up very early on a rainy day and took off from the airport Berlin Tegel early. TXL is closed now and replaced by the new airport Berlin Schönefeld BER. We flew with the friendly Spanish airline Iberia and landed safely in the evening in San Salvador. There we were welcomed by Yankee Sugar One Radio Sugar and Yankee Sugar One Mike Sugar and accompanied to our QDH, about 40 kilometers away. Just a quick look around and we fell tired into bed. By the way, Roberto Yankee Sugar One Radio Sugar opens us the way to a special HU call sign. The last HU was HU1DX in 2012, also a German D expedition. Early the next morning, we starting setting up antennas and the four stations under a large canopy. Our, our Salvadorian friends assured us there would be no rain, and so it was. A serious 
technical equipment, we basically use K3 transceivers from Elecraft and transistorized power amplifiers, plus interfaces from Microham for FT8 and RTTY. All four stations are nearly equal and operate in a wireless network under famous UCX logging program. Several homebrew wire loop antennas were set up in the large garden. This affected all bands from 30 to 6 meters. For many years we have been using spider beam fiber cast masts very successfully. The most important antenna is a vertical for 160 meters with one full size elevated radial erected directly on the beach outside the garden. This vertical height is 22 meters. That's why we must use an extension coil directly on the feet. For 80 meters we used an 18 meter mast and one full size elevated radial. From the shack to the beach we needed 60 meters coax cable each. This picture shows detailed the extension coil for the 160 meter wire vertical. That's about 25 turns of isolated copper braid. All antennas from 40 to 6 meter were single element wire loops, except 60 meters. Here we used a dipole between two palm trees. This picture shows our band filter collection for 160 to 6 meters. Band filters are required to operate 4 kW stations side by side and guarantee a good reception. The larger filter boxes between amplifier and antenna were made for 1200 watts RF in a very small size by Delta Golf Zero Sugar Alpha. Here is now silent key. Already in the afternoon we started radio operation with all four stations around the clock. No man might noise and we could hear to the ground. In the first 24 hours we locked over 7000 contacts. This gave us a good feeling for this QTH. In front is Norbert, Delta Lima 2 Radio November Sugar. He is an excellent CW man. Olaf, Delta Lima 7 Juliet Oscar Mike, is a technician for Elecraft equipment and he loves CW and digital modes. Werner, Delta Juliet 9 Kilo Hotel, is an old timer of old school. He loves CW and he is interested in building and testing his own antennas. Dietmar, Delta Lima 2 Hotel Whiskey Alpha, is a DX hunter since many years. He is QRV at his home from 160 meters to 70 centimeters, even on EME. Franz, Delta Lima 9, Golf Fox Bravo, 
was a friendly DXer and CW man. Living on the Baltic coast, he died of a heart attack in 2020. Frank, Delta Lima 1, Kilo Whiskey Kilo, found his interest for the X and the expeditions. He's a technician and IT specialist. Tom, Delta Juliet 6, Tango Fox, loves all modes. He is also an enthusiastic contester. Andy, Delta Hotel 8 Whiskey Radio, loves the digital modes and contests. As only Spanish-speaking team member, he was an important person. George, Delta Lima 4 Sugar Victor Alpha, is our the expedition QSL manager since many years. He loves digital modes and contests and is doing a very sympathetic because quiet as a space operation style. Mario, Yankee Sugar One Golf Mike Victor at left and Roberto, Yankee Sugar One Radio Sugar at right we are interested to see our technical setup and all the antennas. Our expedition seemed familiar. Several hams visited us. So Roberto, Yankee Sugar One Radio Sugar, with wife and his two sons. Mario, Yankee Sugar One Golf Mike Victor, with his family and Mario Yankee Sugar One Mike Alpha Echo. Direct on the beach, Rolf DL7VEE explains the 80 meter vertical to Rob Yankee Sugar One Radio Sugar. Leisure, the part of our team that didn't have to operate, could make themselves comfortable in the garden, on the beach, in the bedroom or in the dining area. The Costa del Sol is the sun coast of El Salvador. From the coastal road, it went to the entrances of the properties. See the power lines above the ground. We were 100 meter away and had no trouble. Something strange for us. All resorts, supermarkets and so on we are guarded with a private security service. The wild ocean and the broad beach. Three antennas with spider beam masts were built here. The 22 meters high, 160 meter vertical, the 18 meter high, 80 meter vertical and also the 80 meter high 40 meter loop. A sightseeing trip to the capital San Salvador by car.
Lots of weekly market with fresh foods all over. Some of us visited a coffee plantation. Coffee from El Salvador is exported to many countries, also Germany, in middle and high quality. During our day trip, we hiked through a wild national park with exotic plants and animals. An anteater was right in front of us. From the top we had a good view of the volcano in the valley. Last but not least, Roberto took us to the radio club. From here we had a good overview to the city. We met Nelly, Yankee Sugar One, November Echo Lima, who wrote our licenses, and again Jose, Yankee Sugar One, Mike Sugar, the president of the radio club de El Salvador. Finally, we were able to talk to Raimondo, Yankee Sugar One Radio Radio, a very active and known DXer. On our walk through the capital, we repeatedly met armed law enforcement officers to protect tourists and public life. At the end of our excursion, an uh, invitation from Roberto. Every visitor to El Salvador must know the national dish pupusa. Really delicious and not expensive. It is like a tortilla with different fillings. Two weeks of an all-round operation are over. There were only minor failures in the technical equipment. With the result, we are very satisfied, all without directional antennas. The top band and the 40 meter band were the best ones. The sunset view every evening in warm temperatures. Simply fantastic. No rain, no big winds, only sun and friendly people. That is our memory of El Salvador. Hopefully our QSL will give an expression of two wonderful weeks in El Salvador. Thank you all.